Regardless of how you feel about them, there's no denying that NVIDIA keeps a tight lid on upcoming products and keeps you guessing right up until the moment of launch. Well, most of the time. New to PC building or just trying to stay within a budget and get the most you can? Give our PC Builder tool a spin and let us help you get the most for your money. In a new report, China Times has reported that NVIDIA's Ampere GPUs are indeed going to be utilizing TSMC's 7 nanometer process node technology, whereas the next generation Hopper GPU family will be based on the Samsung 5 nanometer EUV process node. Now, NVIDIA will be publishing a pre recorded version of its GTC 2020 Get Amped keynote featuring Jensen Wang, the company's CEO, who will be presenting new innovations, announcements, and technologies. The core segment of the online keynote will focus on the Ampere GPU, which will be unveiled along with some technical information such as specifications and products that would be featuring this inside them. Now, According to China Times, NVIDIA has confirmed as one of the biggest customers of TSMC's 7 nanometer process node. This seems to indicate that NVIDIA's Ampere GPU, as well at least for the high power computing and data center segment, will be based on TSMC's 7 nanometer advanced chip manufacturing process. Now, as soon as the news came out, Samsung released its statement on its Q1 earnings report confirming that it will be in production on its 5 nanometer 5 nanometer LPE UEV process in Q2 of 2020. Now Samsung has already reported to receive orders from processors, graphics cards and various other products to utilize that 5 nanometer process node. And according to the report, most of these products are going to be utilized in consumer applications. And based on internal roadmaps, AMD is not expected to use Samsung foundries for its next generation processors or graphics cards, but it's very likely the next generation Hopper GPUs from Nvidia will utilize Samsung's 5 nanometer EUV node, which would be replacing Ampere GPUs. Now, it'll definitely be interesting to see an updated roadmap that clears this up during the GTC 2020 keynote. There also exists an opportunity for Nvidia to go for Samsung's 5 nanometer for its consumer based graphics card lineup since mass production is indeed happening this quarter and GeForce cards replacing the Turing lineup could arrive by the end of 2020. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX lineup was also unveiled in late 2018. We have internally confirmed with several sources that NVIDIA's AIB partners are aggressively clearing out their Turing GTX and RTX inventories ahead of a big launch for a consumer based GeForce lineup in Q3 of 2020. Now Q3 2020 also makes sense because this is where Computex 2020 has been shifted to but NVIDIA might select another venue to host its GeForce GPU announcement. Now with that said, NVIDIA's Ampere GPUs are definitely going to shake things up in the HPC market with several variants already leaked and performance being rated at around 30 teflops of FP32. Now we will keep you updated as more information comes prior to the 14th of May when NVIDIA will be presenting its next gen GPU lineup. For more on this and other news follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.